So it turns out that some of the followers of the false demonic, lascivious false prophet Muhammad, uh, kidnapped some Christians from a bus in northern Nigeria. I'm going to read you this article. On the Morning Star News, they track Christian persecution. It says, Christians in the Kandana state, Nigeria, suspect uh, Muslim Fulani herdsmen were behind the kidnapping of eight Christians from a bus in the southern part of the state on Friday, March 26. Members of the redeemed Christian Church of God were traveling from the city of Kandana to Ka Kafachan, hope I'm saying these names right, with their, when their bus was intercepted on the uh, Kachia Kafachan Highway, 63 kilometers southeast of the state capital, Kandana, Kandana City, according to reporters or reports. Quote, please pray for my dad and other RCCG missionaries who were kidnapped by Funali, F Fulani herdsmen on the evening of Friday, March 26. Unquote, church member I... Ifid Dunn Richard told Morningstar News by text message on Saturday. Not good at saying some of his names, I do apologize. Continuing. E.J. Kenny Faraday, uh, who said he was also traveling along the Kandana Kachia Highway on Friday, posted a photo of the church members' uh, abandoned bus on Facebook that day and stated that they, they had just been kidnapped. A spokesman for RCCG in the city of Kandana, Pastor Olaitan, Ola Ola hope I'm saying that right, Olabayai, Ola oh I'm not good at saying some of these names, confirmed the kidnapping, saying the eight members, the eight church members were on their way to a Kafachan for ministry outreach. Uh, Tanko Makiri, a, re a resident of the area where the kidnapping took place, told Morningstar News by text message that the church members were kidnapped at gunpoint along the Kandana Kachia Highway between Dok Doka and Makailai, ah, I'm not going to say these names, villages. The Reverend Joseph Hayab, chairman of the Kandana State Chapter of the Christian Association of Nigeria, urged the government to secure the release of the Christians. Quote, we are appealing to the government and security agencies to do anything within their power to rescue the victims, Hayab said in a press statement on Saturday, March 27th. This is the fruit of Islam. This is the fruit of Mohammedanism. M Mohammedanism, whatever, however you say it. The followers of the... Uh, bloody satanic false prophet Muhammad and the satanic false religion of Islam. This is the fruit. Uh, they can't stand disbelief. You know, infidels. You know, infidel is a biblical word, but they can't stand it when there's people evangelizing for God, for Jesus Christ. That's what they have to come and kidnap them and kill them and murder them. You see, wherever Islam goes, terrorism and bloodshed also follows close behind. And this is proof of that, more proof that Islam is satanic, violent, and bloody. And Muhammad is a demonic, violent, bloody, false prophet who is in hell right now. So, just thought I'd share that with you guys. Just more uh, Christian persecution at the hands of Muslims over in Nigeria. Just typical things. It, it happens on a daily basis. Yet the, the liberal mainstream news media won't cover it at, at all. So, it's not surprising because the media is run by just Satanists and Jesuits and everything. So, don't be deceived by Islam. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.